Hello, in this video I want to show four line drawing techniques using geometry. This is without the use of a drawing board. On a drawing board it's easy to draw a straight horizontal line and cross it perfectly with a straight vertical line. What if you don't have a drawing board? You should get one. It's much more convenient and practical than using fancy tricks. Until it arrives, here's some drafting geometry tricks that you can use to draw these without a drawing board. You'll need a compass and a ruler, and a pencil obviously. For the first technique called bisecting a straight line, draw a straight line across and mark at the two end points and then mark the center point as well, although you don't have to. Take your compass and place the compass point at the end mark of the line and make an arc at the top and bottom like this. Then take your compass point and put it on the other end mark. Don't change the angle of your compass setting. It has to stay the same and cross the first two arcs like this. Then you can draw a line from where the two arcs crossed and that will create a perfectly perpendicular 90 degree line. Now the second technique. What if your line is too close to the edge of the paper or the drawing surface? If you can't mark one of the arcs and what if I want to draw a vertical line that crosses perpendicular but not in the center of the line which we've just drawn? I want to be able to draw it anywhere. So there's two problems presented here. Let's solve these problems. Take your compass and where you want it to mark your line, place your compass point and just draw an arc that crosses the line like this. And then take your compass and place it on one side where the arc has crossed and hopefully your line is not right at the edge of the paper. But if it is, you can just mark it on the other side. But you can draw a small arc here and draw another one to cross it. And then from where you've placed your dot, where you want your line to be, just join up where the arcs cross the point. And there you go, two problems solved. Here's another way of drawing a perpendicular line. And if you don't want it to just cross the center of the line, you want to be able to draw it from anywhere. Make your first mark anywhere on the sheet where you want to cross the line. And from the very end mark of the line, set your compass distance from the end of the line to the first mark. Then place your compass point at the end of the line and draw an arc which crosses the first mark. Where the arc crossed the line, you can place your compass there and draw another arc to cross the first arc on both sides and then simply draw a line between where the arcs cross, like this. These three ways of drawing perpendicular lines should be able to apply to any situation where we might need to draw perpendicular lines without any guides. Now how to draw a line that's parallel to another line? How do we make sure that when we draw a line that it's parallel to another line? I'm about to show you. We want to draw a parallel line right here. First place a mark anywhere. It doesn't matter where, as long as it's a round about here. I'll take my compass and place the sharp compass point where I marked the dot. And then draw a big enough arc which crosses near the end of the first line. Now without changing the compass setting, I'll place the compass point where the arc crossed the first line. Then draw another arc which crosses the other end of the line. A small indicating cross is fine. Now we're going to change the setting of the compass and we're placing the compass point where we crossed the line at the end and the pencil where we marked our first dot. We want to get the distance between these two so that we can transfer it over and once we determine that distance, go back to where the first arc crossed the line and place your compass point on the cross and make an arc which crosses the first arc like this. Now you simply have to draw a line which joins the dot to the cross as I'm doing here. 
and you will have drawn a line which is perfectly parallel to the first line. And if you liked this, then there's more technical drawing geometry tricks coming soon.